This is 1994 AP Physics um, B exam. A satellite of mass M is in an elliptical orbit around the Earth, which has a mass M. So the Earth has the mass M. <clears throat> and the radius R E. So they give you um, mass M E and R E. So the mass of the Earth and the mass of the um, and the radius of the Earth. So we have this data is given. This one is given, and also they give you the satellite has a mass. The orbit varies from a closest approach of distance A at point A. So you have distance A at point A to maximum distance B from the center of the Earth at point B. Then we have distance B at point B. At point A, the speed of the satellite is V sub zero. So I'm gonna choose the direction of, um, of the satellite. I'm gonna say the satellite is moving in this direction. So at point A, the speed of the satellite V sub zero. So we have velocity V sub zero. Assume that the gravitational potential energy um, on equals to zero when the mass masses are an infinite distance apart from the Earth. Express your answers in terms of A B M mass of Earth, radius of Earth, and V sub zero, and the um, gravitational constant. Determine the total energy of the satellite when it is at point A. So for A, for A, I'm going to be finding the total energy. So to find the total energy, I have I'm going to write it in gray color. So for A, the total energy is equal to, or the total mechanical energy, I will say mechanical energy, is equal to the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy of the object at point A. The potential energy is equal to negative G, mass of the Earth, mass of the satellite over the distance square, the distance, just the distance, not square, and plus the kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and that's sub-zero. So that would be your answer for part A. So this is our A. For B part, what is the magnitude of the angular momentum on of the satellite when about the center of the Earth when it is at point A? So I'm gonna do B in blue color. So I need to find the angular momentum and so B is going to be here, and the momentum, the linear momentum P is equals to mass times velocity. The angular momentum is equals to, instead of mass in angular motion, we use inertia and angular velocity. And because the object is um, the motion of the object reminds us of the hoop. Inertia of the hoop is m r squared omega. 
and in our case r is the distance which is a so i have m a squared omega and there is a relationship between the linear velocity the tangential or linear velocity like v sub zero and angular velocity and linear velocity uh, is equal to r times omega so at point a um, my r is equal to a so angular momentum is equal to the mass a and if i use one of the a's to multiply by omega i get my v sub zero um, so that would be your angular momentum for part b for part c they ask you to find the um determine the velocity of the satellite when it passes through the point b so I can use conservation of momentum. In this case, it's angular momentum. I will say momentum at A is equal to the momentum at B. Then momentum at A is equal to M A V sub zero. And momentum at B is gonna be equal to M B V at B then the velocity at b is equal to mass and mass can be cancelled um equals to a over b v sub zero then for Part D, they give you a new drawing and they say as a satellite passes through point A, a rocket engine on the satellite is fired so that the orbit is changed to a circular orbit of radius A, so the radius is A, about the center of the Earth. Determine the speed of the satellite for the circular orbit. So every time I have a circular orbit, uh, let me choose different color here. Let's do orange. So every time um, we have a circular orbit, we can use um, centripetal force is equal to the gravitational force. So I can say force centripetal is equal to the force of gravity then centripetal force is equal to the mass of the satellite v squared of r which is a is equal to and the gravitational force is equal to g mass of the earth mass of the satellite over a squared so uh, one of the a's can be cancelled and the m of the satellite will be cancelled so the velocity is equal to the square root of g the mass of the earth over a so that would be my answer for part c determine the work done by the rocket engine to affect this change so for this part, let's do it in yellow, brown. Um, so I have to determine the work done. The work is equal to change of the kinetic energy. Or potential energy. So every time energy changes, um, the work is done. So I have the work is equal to the final velocity is the one that we just found and the initial velocity is v sub zero. So I have one half, it's the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy, one half um, m and the velocity that I just found squared is going to be g m over a because if I square the square root 
if I square this square root, I'm gonna get um, just that number without the square root plus, sorry, minus because it's the difference with the change of the potential energy minus one half and the initial that we used to have. So the work done by the engine is equal to one half and I can take M out. So what I have is G, the mass of the earth over A minus V initial squared. So that would be my expression for the work done by the engine in order to change um, the orbit of the satellite. So that was the question for 1994 AB Physics B.